Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to a special edition of the Vinny Langdon Show. I am here with two of the guys from Power Man 5000. What's up, man? What up, dude? How you doing, man? It's been a while. It's been a while. Good to see you, man. It has. So, Adrian, how long have you been in Power Man 5000 for? I've been in the band since 2001. Long time, long time. Long time, yeah. And what about you, Nick? Um, I have a new addition um, in the last, what, like six months? Yeah. yeah. Well, you got your own mic over there, dude. Oh, I do. Hey, <laughs> there we go. There you go. So what do you do in Power Man 5000? I play guitar. He fucking sells chicklets. <laughs> he, didn't re- he didn't replace Spider yet? <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. Never. Not yet. Never. Never, yeah. There you go. So, how's it going? It's good, man. Yeah, we just literally just started the tour. Um, day two and we're just kind of getting in the flow you know getting used to just getting back out again and, you know that's the way it goes huh yeah and you were talking a little bit earlier you said wow we actually get a day off soon <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're, we're two days in we get one day off <laughs> that's yeah. it we literally have one day off tomorrow just because we have a long drive to uh canada right now are we doing canada now we're doing uh, no seattle oh, no, we're doing seattle and then vancouver yeah, yeah. yeah. wow yeah. crazy and the other day you guys were in china we were in China. Yeah, that was good. There you go. Good, fun, good, good turnouts. Uh, great people. You know. There you go. So you've been playing in China, you know, not first time, right? Actually, that was my first time in China. First time yeah, for First you? time for the band, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, none of my other projects had ever been in China. So. And how does that feel when you go to another country and you have, you know, people that don't even speak English as a first language sing a Power Man 5000 song? Well, I, they were singing in Chinese, so I didn't understand. I don't know if they were singing the right lyrics or not. That's awesome. <laughs> There you go. Fantastic. So, being on this tour, you've been on so many Power Man tours, and, you know, it just feels like another day on the road for you. No, one more day, dude. It's another day in the office, you know. There you go. Awesome. So, tell us a little bit about your background before Power Man 5000. Um, before Power Man, I played with The Dreaming, and then a while ago, uh, American Head Charge. Yeah? So, yeah. Right on. There you go. So people, if they don't know, you know, what kind of genres are that? Heavy um, metal, rock? Yeah, it was all it was all industrial metal. Yeah, there you go. So tell us about Power Man 5000. You know, were you a big fan? You know, I was. I've yeah. been listening to Power Man since I was in high school, and you know, it's pretty cool that that I got to the chance to step up and, and do the thing. There you go. Fantastic. Yeah. I actually brought him in the band. He was homeless. Uh, getting ready to uh, send an application to Home Depot, <laughs> and I and I, I interfered. You know, I, I got in the middle of that and saved him. You right? walk into Home? Like, no, you can't sell. Uh, you can't you can't work at Home Depot. Yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, he's been a friend of mine. We were actually in a in a band together previously, and uh, and I called him up when uh, when Evan left the band. And I called him up and uh, told Spider that we that I had a guy, and we went and had lunch, and um, you know. Personality-wise and everything else was great, you know. And then we got to got to rehearsal room and it was cool. You know, so. And that definitely helps because you know some of the fans that are watching, they probably they see you guys on stage, but they don't realize that you know you guys got to have to rehearse and actually oh, spend yeah. a couple days on the road together. Yeah, and yeah. if you have people that don't get along, it's kind of like well, there's oh nothing man. worse than being trapped <laughs> on a bus with like fucking some asshole or somebody that just makes life difficult. You know what I mean? It's already it's been hard smooth. Enough. It's been smooth this time. Yeah, yeah. it's been good. There you go. Good, so. That's fun. So playing over in China here yeah, at the I'll U.S. This show or what? Yeah, I've been you can. A lot. It's all right. It's New York Channel One. So good, good, good. All right, good, good. <laughs> there you go. So being on this tour, and you know, what's the variety? When these people come out to the tour, are they going to hear the old Power Man from the '90s? Or are they going to hear the 2001? Uh, we actually we got some surprises tonight. Yeah, we got uh, we actually got a brand new song that we're actually still developing that we're going to play tonight, and we also have a song that the band. Uh, well, with the with the newer lineup since since Al and uh, and Dorian has left the band, we're actually playing one song that um, hasn't been played by the new lineup tonight. So, from from Stars Revolt. A little nervous about that? No, no, we've been doing it. It's fine. It, it come, it's actually a great song. It's, it's um, the you know last night we played it for the first time live and um, well we played it in China actually, but first time in the states and people were like well like whoa like there was definitely a reaction. That's good. Good to hear it. You know, and it's been a while since you guys put out a record, and you know, having their new record out coming soon. What's up with that? Well, we're we're waiting for it. We put a we started a Kickstarter fund, but no one's putting any money in there, so we, it's not working. <laughs> so. It's like, hey, you guys, hey, yeah. want a new record? We hey. actually we actually owe Kickstarter money, actually. Wow. Yeah. It goes the other way. Yeah, we went the other way around. So. Yeah. Um, it, we're gonna have a new record out next year. We're just starting pre-production now, and um, some of the new material is starting to surface, and we're gonna play. Uh, one song right you know tonight that 
may or may not make it on the record. Who knows? We're just kind of trying to feel it out and just trying to see what's working and what's not and um, and just go from there like we always do. You know? Definitely. Now, you know, learning how to play all these Power Man 5000 songs, was that easy for you or, you know? Um, yeah, it was pretty It was pretty easy. Um, the, the hard part is that the, the structure of the songs is so simple that it's hard to play. <laughs> you're like, hey, I want to do a crazy yeah. thing, but... You yeah, know. you're like... You're like, you play one note for five minutes and then all of a sudden the note changes. You're like, whoa. Oh, wait, what? You off guard, yeah. There you go. Fantastic. Now, you've been playing these songs, some of them, for quite some That's time. For a long time, yeah. And, and are you just like, can we write new stuff yet? No, no, I, I enjoy playing the old stuff, you know? It's like, you know, I like to see that, you know, the reactions of people just hearing the songs they enjoy, you know? So people that come to our shows are people that really like the band, so yeah. it's nice to play those songs. There you go. Oh. So you had a couple of projects before this. Yeah, and, I did, you yeah. know. And what was the reaction from your past fans going, Oh my gosh, he joined Power Man 5000, what a traitor, no, what are you doing? No, everyone, everyone's been really supportive and uh, people have actually been showing up to the shows uh, yeah. on this tour from my past uh, projects. Awesome. And then you're going to leave Power Man 5000 in a year, go back to the other yeah, man and right. have more fans. No. <laughs> there you go. And Hopefully you had some not. Other, and you had some other band experience too, right? Yeah, I've been... Uh, I've been playing with a bunch of different people. I, when I, I was actually out working for the cult for a while, and um, yeah, I'm back. You know, just like made a phone call to Spider, and uh, you know, after the other guy that, that replaced me took off, and it would just seem like the right thing to do. You know, but um, yeah, you know, I'm always going to be doing something. You know, what I mean, I'm hoping that you know that to be doing this band as much as possible. But um, you know, you you gotta you gotta work. You know, and you gotta do what you're good at. You know, what I mean, otherwise you're you're. Uh, you're failing yourself, you know what I mean, so. And everyone keeps mentioning that, you know, we're still in this old bad economy thing going on. Yeah. And people are like, why are these guys still going and playing shows and leaving their jobs, leaving their families to go play music? I mean, you guys are dedicated and well, it's I a don't fan. Have a job. This is my job, so I don't, I don't have any other line of work, so. Um. And you don't want to go to Home Depot, dude. Yeah, no. I don't want to go to Home Depot. Could you imagine him in an orange vest? Hello, welcome to Home Depot. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So, you got these helmets. Yeah. And, and they've been a Power Man 5000 thing for yeah. quite some time. This is it, man. This is actually going to be mine and Nick's first show since the helmets were introduced. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. We're very afraid home. right now. Very afraid? Yeah. I actually might quit the band after tonight. Yeah. Depending on this, how this goes. Get the oxygen tanks ready, guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Axel, uh, uh, I texted you earlier. I really need the hookup, dude. There you go. What? All right. You'll be seeing him in the, like, the COPD commercials. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I played drums for 20 years, and now I'm on oxygen. <laughs> oh, shit. What's sad is I'll probably end up in Guns N' Roses in like a year, and then he's going to see this interview and be like, Fuck you, you're out of the band. <laughs> right? <laughs> there you go. So, for a band, you know, when bands first start, you know, they, they want the record deal, they want, they want a tour, they want the experience. And for you guys that you've done it for a while, what do you really want now? Um... You mean as far as like being in a band, what do we want? Yeah. Um, Stability, probably. Yeah, I don't know if it's... The record deal thing's kind of irrelevant these days. I mean, the younger generation bands are probably doing that, you know, and they're, they're doing big numbers, and some of those guys are still doing like 30,000 records a week, whatever. Like, we're really not doing that kind of stuff. You know, like, I basically what we want is just our fans to stay dedicated and, and gives us a reason to be out here, you know? Other than that, like can't really ask for anything else it's like we know we're not going to reinvent the wheel it's like power man is is what it is and if we change that we'd really be faking it you know what i mean so it's like this is what we do so it's like the fans hopefully can stay on and hold on as long as long as they can before they get you know in in retirement homes you know right <laughs> yeah and what about you stability yeah, just, I just able want to stability um i think we have a really good group right now and um, hopefully it lasts a long time. Yeah. Now, what do you think? You think Power Man 5000 can be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame soon? Oh, God, I don't know about that. I would hope so. I, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen, but, yeah. yeah. I mean, if Motorhead can do it. Wait, who? <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, that would be great, you know, but who knows? Who knows? I mean, shit, I, it's some fucking crazy executive that just wakes up one day out of a bad acid trip and is like, oh, we're going to do, th we're going to duck these guys today, like, uh, I don't even I don't even know how this how that happens, but you know, if we did, that'd be amazing, you know. But will it happen? Probably not. Yeah. 
There you go. Uh, and not every day is a perfect day on tour. Sometimes you'll show up and there'll be like three people there and you're like, why didn't the promoter promote this? Why didn't the event, what's going on? Yeah, and But happens. you still got to do it. Yeah, it happens. You know, we're out here to do a job. You know, it's like, I know it's it's a lot of fun for us and this is what we love to do, but it, it is a job and we got to do what we got to do. We do our job. And, right. um, and that's why it's important for, you know, all them fans to come out here and get some merchandise, you know, even if they get, you know, a $5 CD, you know, yeah. they might think, oh, I didn't, you know, give the band 45 bucks for a t-shirt, but. Right, right. No, know, yeah, it's well, it's tough. You know, we know that not everybody can do that, you know, but um, we appreciate everything that people can do, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So how long is this tour going on for? Five weeks. Five weeks, huh? That's good, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, day two. And then you get home and you're like, yeah, real shower, real bathtub. Yeah. Well, you're home for <laughs> you get a week. Home and you go, now what? My day isn't planned for yeah, me anymore. I know. You're like, Who, who's telling me what to do today? Yeah. You get home for a week and you're like, oh, finally. But then you're like, oh, shit, we got to go back on tour. You know, it's like you're begging to go back out. You know? And do you guys get like bored when you get home? Like, I don't know what to do. I mean, there's no. You know. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't do, you know, I don't do anything at home, really. I just. Uh, Play air drum? No, I don't even drum at all, actually. I just hang out and just kind of do some hiking. and uh, kind of. I actually just kind of do the opposite of what I would do out here, you know, like uh, no alcohol, like very, very just relaxed and, you know, calm. You know, That's awesome. Well, what about you? What do you I, enjoy doing? I'm the same way. I just work and um, just chill out. And dream of working at Home Depot? So. <laughs> yeah, I work at Home Depot. And, uh, Home Depot better send me some free stuff. Yeah, sponsor. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> well, Power Man 5000 here on the Vinnie Langdon Show, performing a few songs here Hell just yeah. for you guys.